Happy Tuesday, folks. It's May the 16th, Hebrews 4, verses 14 to 16, this big long passage. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in every way as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in time of need. You see, our high priest understands. Our high priest sympathizes with our fallen condition. You see, he became a man. Technically, Paul says that he became sin. He became our sin, and yet he never failed. And he never fails. See, he knows our weaknesses, and he knows our struggle. See, we're taught, however, though, that it's not an excuse. We, we don't get to use this idea of Jesus' forgiveness, the, the forgiveness that Jesus provided through his shed blood, you see. We don't get to use it as an excuse to act evil or wicked. He has given us a forgiveness that never fails, you see. So, so we know that we have this high priest who has, has acted as that intercessor, that, that, that substitution for our failures. Hebrews 4, 14 to 16, it says, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in every way as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with boldness so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in time of need. See you next time.